In this area, there are fewer than a dozen confirmed Zika cases and none directly from mosquito bites. But whether it's fear of Zika or just the annoying bug bites they cause, a lot of people want to get rid of mosquitoes. Rick Dayton has some organic and in some cases literally green solutions to keep them away. Few things ruin a cookout, picnic, or trip to the pool faster than hearing the buzzing noise of mosquitoes. But simply putting a couple of pots of marigolds on the porch can make a huge difference. Marigolds are great, lantana are great. These are all plants that have uh, an odor, an aroma, and that's the thing that, that mosquitoes don't like. Other plants that have a strong smell work well too, especially herbs like basil, thyme, peppermint, and lemon thyme. Another popular one? Rosemary. One of the good tricks with rosemary is if you're out sitting around the fire, throw a little rosemary sprig in there. That essential oil will be released by the heat and that keeps the mosquitoes at bay. Citronella candles are popular, but this plant provides the same benefit without the flames. Another thing that works great are citronella geraniums. They have that lemony scent that repels mosquitoes. We've all heard the warnings about removing standing water from your property, but if you can't do that, these white donut looking things will do the trick. If you had a fountain or a bird bath, there's these little things called mosquito dunks, and they're completely organic. They can't harm us, they can't harm the fish, uh, but the larva. Uh, it will kill the larva. Even if you don't have a green thumb, there's one thing you can do to fight back against mosquitoes. Put up a bat house because bats are mosquito eating machines. Bats can eat 600 mosquitoes an hour. <laughs> That's all you need to know, and a bat house can hold a lot of bats. Don't be afraid of bats. We want to help bats just like we want to help bees. There's one more thing you can do don't be afraid of using lots of garlic in your favorite recipes. Anyone that eats garlic knows that it comes right out of your pores, and I can walk in the woods after eating garlic, and no problem. Rick Dayton, KDKA TV News.